Hello, water sign, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We are doing your um, energy read for the next 48 hours, the 25th and the 26th. Now, Mercury is going retrograde. Um, depending on where you live, it, if, it, if it does not go retrograde on the 25th, it's definitely going to go retrograde on the 26th, okay? And it will be in retrograde until August 18th, if I'm not mistaken. You can double check on your own. All right, so we're going to be doing a 48-hour energy read for that. We're going to be pulling a house card and a sign card to see um, where what house is going to be mostly affected by this Mercury retrograde energy, okay, for this first um, two days. And then we're going to see what sign is going to be you're going to be dealing with this sign or going to have to um you're going to have to embody this sign okay to deal with this energy okay so let's go ahead and get started all right um i wanted to record these videos early um before i checked out of my room and got back on the road okay so i'm aware that my face is cut off it's all right um i wanted you guys to see the cards um because you guys never get to see them because you guys always get to see me all right so water sign cancer pisces scorpio let's see what's going on Okay, so your overall energy, we have the three of pentacles. All right, so um, the, this energy you're carrying here is working it out, working together, working on each other. Okay, you could be involved in a third party situation, but I feel like this is more so you being an apprentice. Uh, apprentice, I'm sorry, you um, learning a new craft. Okay, somebody, um, um, somebody could be mentoring you here. Okay, you're mentoring someone. All right, but I feel like this is you working with a group. You could be... Um, Working with people, you could be some type of, these people are also on stage, you could be some type of artist, hip-hop artist, actor, actress, okay, but you're working with people on stage, working together, building up, building up on something, okay, so this is, um, your energy, um, overall is building, you want to build up on something, you want to work together, okay, you want to work it out, okay, um, I feel like, too, you want to settle your differences with these people, okay, this could be, um, with two people or just one or both. So your differences, yes, we're all different, but we can all help each other out. We can all build up on our differences, okay? So that's your overall energy, all right? So let's see. You have the energy of the two of cups. Exactly, all right? Plain and simple. Um, you want to work it out, all right? So I feel like this is someone... Um, you're very much in love with this person, okay? I feel like this is also... This is... Um, I feel like the female energy here is of a darker complexion. You guys could be the same of the same race, but the female energy is of a darker complexion. She could have a tan as well. Um, but I feel like you want to like this 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 picture to me in this deck. I always say that the masculine energy is very dominating. Okay, this is I, I'm getting possession as well. Like you're not going anywhere. We're going to talk about this. Like look at his stance. He's like no. We need to have a talk right now, okay? Let's get a drink. Let's sit down. Let's have a talk. I need to. T I need to talk to you, okay? So, um, wanting to talk to someone, wanting to like this is he's like seducing her, okay? Dominating her, like this. I'm getting Taurus energy here. This could be somebody with a Taurus moon, okay? Taurus rising here because this is your first card. It could be Taurus rising, Taurus moon individual here, or you could be dealing with the Taurus or a Gemini, okay? Wanting you want to work it out, work out your differences with this person. All right, so far that's what it's saying. All right, plain and simple. All right, seven of okay, so we have seven of um seven of cups. So I'm getting a lot of people on stage. Someone here is an artist. Someone here paints, does art, some type of artistic endeavor. Somebody does here. Okay, so you could be wanting um this could be you wanting to um create a partnership as far as like I feel like you want to water sign you want to work together with someone as far as um on a on some type of creative endeavor i feel like i feel like this is another water sign okay um i feel like the two are, i feel like you and this person are doing a lot of drinking we have we have all these cups turned over i feel like you guys are doing a lot of drinking talking uh, okay drinking talking about your dreams talking about your visions okay all right but I feel like I'm, I'm getting good vibes here, okay? Good vibes. You guys are, but you guys are getting along, talking, drinking, sharing your ideas, okay? Sharing your creativity, all right? Working it out. Getting along, all right? 
but I feel like someone I feel like someone here too is not really paying attention like I feel like you want to work it out but as you can see it's it's his subconscious that's painting the photo and his conscious mind is elsewhere so it's like I feel like this is you this I feel like it's it's more so your subconscious that wants this this conversation this talk water sign but I feel like you your conscious mind your ego is not going to allow this I feel like your ego is wanting something else. I feel like your ego is elsewhere. Okay, so this is definitely somebody. Um, so this could be this could be somebody with like an Aries rising or like um, an Aries moon. Somebody, um, a Leo rising, Leo moon. Somebody who's very ego driven. Okay, um, but I feel like spiritually. Okay, I feel like. I feel like there's a kindred spirit for you, water sign, out there. I feel like you want to make up with this person, but I feel like it's, it's so subconscious to you right now. And I feel like you you need to bring that to the surface, all right? I'm getting, I'm getting Neptune retrograde here. Somebody here is very emotional. All right, let's see what else you have going on here. You have this, this uh, Six of Swords. Okay. So this is what I'm getting. I'm water sign. I'm seeing that you want to work it out with this person. All right. Um, but I feel like at the same time you want, you also want to move on from this person. I feel like you you wanting to work it out. I feel like it's all it's all in your head. It's all a dream. It's all in your imagination. It's like yeah, you want to work it out, but we can work it out in my head. If I just you know anything anything can happen in your head, right? Right, water sign. So it's like. We can work it out. Maybe you, maybe, maybe you've already created a scenario in your head where you and this person have already kissed and make up, made up, worked it out, settled your differences, and now you can move on. But I feel like physically you're not doing this. I feel like this is all spiritual, ethereal, etheric. Okay. I feel like you're not gonna, you're not gonna do anything physically. I feel like you're gonna just move on. Okay. I feel like the um, because you know what's behind him here. This is what's behind him. As you can see, it's like all this fire, destruction, okay? And this is this is the car that's behind that, okay? So I feel like this, this relationship, I feel like this relationship has huge potential. There's definitely love here. This is, the love is equal, it's mutual, it's mutual love, it's mutual respect, okay? But I feel like, um, I feel like somebody here is not living in the real world, okay? I feel like somebody here lives more inside their head, okay? I feel like somebody here, they they rather work things out inside their head instead of in the real world. All right, they rather just you know keep going on about their day to day life like nothing is happening, nothing is tangible. Okay, whatever goes on inside my head I'm, is is real. Okay, so, but I feel like um, somebody does want to make up. You could be you could be making up with somebody and um, you know flying away with them. Okay, you could be um, you and this person like I'm getting um, you and this person could be making up and then making plans to go on a trip. Okay, take a trip together. All right, just take a little retreat, get away together, make up. All right, or you could be you could be flying to go see this person. Like you could be, I feel like too. You could be if you are communicating with this person, and you guys are making up. If you guys are not together physically, you could be going to visit them, or if you guys are making up, or you're you are you're wanting to make up with this person, so you're going to see them. You're you're flying to them. Okay, you're leaving. You're leaving. I feel like you're leaving a situation here, water sign that's very destructive, very tumultuous, that's not working. Okay. That's destroying you as an individual. That's destroying your mind as well. I feel like you're leaving that situation to go and make up with this person. Okay, that could be the, that could be the case. All right, or I feel like you you made up with someone. All right, you could have. This could be somebody from your past. You've made up with someone that you are in love with. Okay, so now you're moving on. You can move on now because you guys have made up. You feel better. You got. You can you can move on to a better relationship now. Better communication. All right. Let's see, why is the two of cups here? You have the, okay, you have the ten of cups in the reverse. All right. Yeah, so I feel like that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying here. You want to make up with this person, but I feel like you're not going to do it. You're not, you're going to just move on because you don't, you're, you don't, you don't, you're not feeling, you don't feel optimistic. You don't feel optimistic about making up with this person. There's a lot of strife between you and this person. Like you, you love this person very much. I feel like both of you love each other. Okay, but I feel like there's a lot of, family strife there's a there's a lot of emotional unhappiness emotional un, like um things are very unsettling okay i feel like um it could have been something nice it was something nice it was something beautiful this love that you have with this person but i feel like um you guys just couldn't work out your differences all right it just it just couldn't work could be with the earth sign you're dealing with a gemini i'm getting air too or it could be with another fire another water sign all right like you wanted this person, like you were, you, I feel like you were very devoted to this person. You and this person were very devoted to each other. 
but it's just not like that anymore. I feel like now, I feel like all those, all those, those good, I feel like all that good shit, those, you know, you guys being devoted together, you guys toasting in the moonlight, you know, sharing those beautiful nights, kissing. I feel like it's all a part of your imagination now. It's all in your head, all right? I feel like now all you can do is paint a pretty picture because this person's not there anymore, all right? This is, this is sad, fire. Well, this is a sad water sign. Damn. Why is the seven of, seven of Cups here? Okay, the death card, yeah. I feel like you were drawing, you, you were you were like making these pictures in the sky of this person, you know, painting this beautiful picture of this person, but I feel like it's over with, you know, you're done living inside your head, you're, you're done living in, living in your imagination, you're done pretending like this person is there when they're not, okay? You're done resisting change, okay? I feel like now you realize that in order for something new to be born, some, you know, something has to die, all right? As you can see, the death card is pregnant. Yeah, death comes, but so does life. Life and death is the same thing, reverse sides of the same coin. So I feel like this is like death to your imagination here, all right, about this person wanting to get back together, wanting to make up, okay, that love you guys shared. Okay, I feel like either it's dead or you're imagining that it is. You're like, you know what, it's gone. You know, it was great. But it's not, it's gone now, okay? This is like a really depressing reading water sign, all right? I'm, I'm getting, because of Neptune retrograde, you're very, you're very emotional here. Um, I feel, I'm getting like a lot of depression. Let's see, why is this, why is the Six of Swords here, okay? The Magician. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, you just, I feel like you're just moving on from this person. You got, you just can't work it out. Like, I feel like you just, you, you feel like you don't have the know-how, you don't have the faculties, you don't. You don't have the, um, you're not equipped. You, f you feel ill-equipped Ill to work it out with this person, so you're moving on, all right? Um, or this could be somebody here moving on from you because they just feel like they don't have what it takes. They can't handle the situation, okay? They can't take it anymore. They don't, they don't, they, you feel, you, you feel, you feel like you don't, you can't take it anymore. You don't have what it takes to make something out of nothing, okay? You can't make a way out of no way anymore, all right. I feel like this is it's just too much unhappiness. It's too much um, pessimist pessimism here for the situation to get better. Like as of right now, anyway. Right now, like these four eight hours, this energy right here is looking like somebody is like it's done. It's over. Somebody's moving on because they have to. They feel like they have no choice. Energy of the nine of pentacles in the reverse. I feel like yeah. I feel like somebody was in the situation because somebody was depending on this person. Somebody was dependent upon someone. Somebody was a dependent. Either you were depending on this person or they were depending on you. Um, so I feel like you were trying to work out your differences with this person because this person you, this person was dependent upon you for your resources, for your money. Okay. Um, but I feel like now it just can't work anymore. Okay. Um, I feel like somebody here is a, a huge pessimist. Somebody doesn't, somebody is not willing to invest in the future. Okay. Um, because, yeah, the two cups is there. The love is there. It's beautiful love. I mean, you guys have chemistry. Um, you guys are in love. But I feel like it, it, it's not going to reach the ten of cups, okay? You guys are a long way from that. And I feel like emotionally you, it's not there, all right? I just, I just, I feel like um, this is something that's going to, that's, that's over, you know? I feel like just this, you guys are just too different. It can't be worked out. Somebody wants to move on. Somebody feels like they have no choice. They have to move on because they there's nothing else they could possibly do to make the situation better. Okay, this could be dealing with a child as well. You could have a child with this person or this person could have children. All right, maybe like this person has children and you just can't take it anymore. You can't, you're not, you can't, you know, take being a step parent or whatever the case may be. Um, water sign. Let's see here. You have the energy... The oracle is saying, okay, flowers, fickle, yeah. Um, so fickle, finically, like, stop playing. You're playing with somebody's emotions, okay? Or you were playing with somebody's emotions here. I feel like you were only with someone because you were dependent dependent upon them. You didn't have much, okay? Um, or somebody was dependent upon you because they didn't have much. Somebody was going through. Somebody was going through a hard time. Somebody had some money issues. And they were. This is why. This, this is why this person was around because they needed you. They were dependent upon you, okay? And yes, I'm not gonna say this person didn't love you because of course they loved you. The two of cups is here. They they loved you, but I feel like somebody in, somebody in this relationship was very dominating. I feel like one energy dominated the other because of this the, the because of this codependency here. One energy was very dominant, dominating over the other energy, okay? And I feel like somebody here was very codependent. I feel like um, somebody could have been putting on appearances like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing very well. I'm in this happy family. But really, it's like this. 
there's no family, there's no devotion, there's no, there's, um, you know, there's, there's no family devotion. All right. Um, this person might, might be devoted to you, but they're not, they're not devoted to your children. They're not devoted to family. They're, this person like wants to move on. This is you. Okay. But I feel like fickle, you're playing, you're playing with somebody's emotions here. Fickle, somebody could be giving you flowers. I, I feel like too, somebody's like, somebody is really like not into you like that, but they're going to, they, they buy you gifts. They give you flowers. They, they love bomb you. Okay. They might make you feel like, oh my God, you're my soulmate. You're my everything. I want you so bad. I mean, we're, we're you know, we're so, we're made for each other. They might love bomb you, but I feel like somebody, somebody is definitely playing with your feelings. Somebody is not sincere. Somebody is playing with your emotions. Yes, yeah, somebody might give you flowers and flowers are pretty and everything and that's great. Um, but I feel like somebody, when I say, it's like somebody doesn't know, somebody doesn't know what they want here. Somebody's only around because it's convenient and it's comfortable. All right. But fickle. All right. Somebody's playing with your emotions or um, you're, or you're playing with somebody else's emotions. All right. Plain and simple as that. So let's see what houses are being affected here the most. Yeah. Somebody here is very, very codependent. And I feel like somebody is like stringing somebody along okay because they don't want to be alone they don't they don't have much just um but i feel like um somebody here you could be wanting to move on from a situation but you can't because you're completely dependent upon this person you're codependent you don't want to be alone all right even though you and this person have like major differences okay um there's a lot of family strife here in the home i feel like but i feel like water sign you're still willing to sit there with this person because you feel like you cannot move on by yourself you don't have the you don't have the ability to move forward you don't have the ability to, to uh use your creativity you don't have you're not gifted you feel like you feel like okay i could move on but i can't because i'm, I'm not i'm not a magician I don't know what to do. I don't have street smarts. I can't be by myself. Codependent. All right? So you're allowing your power to be taken. You're allowing somebody to play with your emotions. You're playing with somebody's emotions so that you can stay in a comfortable, you can stay in this comfortable situation. All right? And you're, 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 you're working, you're working, you're, you're working it out, but it's like, at what cost? You're working it out with this person, but it's like, you're going against shit that you want. You know, you're, you're very unhappy here. But you're comfortable, so I guess that I guess that's an even trade off. All right, let's see what house is mostly affected here. Okay, yeah, we have the first house. Like I said, the magician, the house of self. You, this is a this is a this is a lack of self confidence. Like you know, you need to move on. You know, somebody's playing with your emotions. You know, the love is not real. You know, the love is not real. Okay, you know it's finicky. You know it's fickle. All right, you know your heart is not all the way in it, but you're comfortable. All right, you're comfortable. All right, you're secure, and okay, so it's your first house, your house of self, okay? So your sense of self is off, okay? Your sense of how you're projecting yourself is off, all right? Your sense of self-worth is off, super duper off here, okay? So your first, this, Mer this Mercury retrograde is definitely going to be affecting your first, your first house. Um, you could be dealing with somebody with Mercury in their first house. You could have Mercury in your first house or Gemini rising, all right? You could be dealing with the Gemini here, okay? But somebody here has a first house Mercury, very mercurial. Um, let's see. And Aries, wow. So you are really being pushed to be a leader here. You're really, you're really being pushed to, to, to work for yourself and do for yourself and stand up for yourself and stop giving your power away and stop depending on people, stop being codependent, make your own money, get your own job, okay? Um, love yourself first, okay? Be your own emotional self-fulfillment here. So I feel like you are really suffering in the self, like, in the in the in the aspect of yourself you are really going through it you're really struggling you're really suffering here you you feel like i feel like somebody too is very neptunian somebody here is a pisces pisces rising pisces moon somebody does not know who they are somebody is a lost soul okay and somebody somebody is using sex as a weapon using love as a weapon somebody is lying to somebody here because they're comfortable they're saying oh i love you but they don't this person could even be showering you with gifts with flowers because this person i feel like this person needs someone else to know who they are this is who you're dealing with or this is you like you find Find your self worth, or you find you you find your into you find your into your um your, your identity through other people. Okay, um, so I'm getting I'm getting heavy heavy Gemini here. Okay, because I feel like yeah, you don't know who you are without this person, without without other people around you, without other people interacting with you, you don't know who you are. Okay, but I feel like this is someone. If you are an Aries rising, you need to harness that Aries. You you need to become a leader. You need to stop playing with people's emotions. Okay, if you don't love this person, let them go. Let them go. Stop playing with their emotions, okay? Stop using them. Stop being codependent, all right? Be a leader. Be an Aries. Stand up for yourself. Stand in your own power. Do for yourself, 
this is what's being affected the most by you, okay? So I feel like you could be dealing with an Aries. You're dealing with an Aries, okay? You're dealing with an Aries. You're dealing, um, you could be dealing with an Aries rising here. Um, but a very, you're dealing with someone um, who is a leader, all right? Um, this could be someone, this could be someone in a leadership position playing with your emotions, okay? Because they have a lot of money resources here. So they're, they're basically stringing you along, okay? Um, but you're dealing with an Aries. Aries is, is significant to you in your first house, all right? First Aries rising you're dealing with could be possibly. All right, so I hope this helps you, Water Sign. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.